Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This video has a summary of the front, the actions in Ukraine according to the Ukrainian side. <clears throat> so put your uh, Ukrainian goggles on and uh, let's see what these guys are saying. This is from their perspective. I don't know if you're gonna say anything about Bakhmut or anything about uh, Soledar, but hmm, let's see. So this uh, article comes from Ukraine Forum. It is from the 12th of January, 2023. War update. Ukrainian air forces launched 20 strikes on enemy positions. Ukrainian air forces have launched 20 strikes on enemy targets in the past 24 hours, including five strikes on Russian air defense missile system, system positions. Now, this article is from 8 o'clock p.m. Ukraine time or Kiev time. So um, that has, this is what happened over there in the past uh, 24 hours. Okay, it's not uh, like the Eastern time, five o'clock or four o'clock or whatever time it is. The relevant statement was made by the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. Additionally, the Ukrainian military shot down Russia's Suhoi 25 assault aircraft and Orlan 10 unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV. Ukraine's missile and artillery units also hit three Russian command posts, three enemy personnel and military ammunition clusters, one S-300 missile systems and three ammunition depots. Meanwhile, according to the general staff, Russian troops launched five missile strikes and 12 air strikes and opened fire with multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, four times. All missile strikes were launched on peaceful cities, such as Kosti Kon Kostantinivka, Krematorsk and Zaporozhye. The threat of missile and airstrikes is, per is persisting all over Ukraine. Russian troops are focusing efforts on attempts to, to seize the Donetsk region within its administrative borders and continue the offensive in the Bakhmut direction. The most fierce battles are ranging near Soledar, Paraskovka, Bakhmut and Klishchivka. Accurate so far. Congratulations. In the Avdivka direction, direction, Russian invaders are conducting unsuccessful offensive actions. But remember, Avdivka offensive, okay? They say unsuccessful, that you put aside. We got the Ukrainian uh, filters, so put it aside. All you need to take, the Russians are trying an offensive. In the Kupiansk and Liman directions, the enemy continues attempts to improve attempts to improve their tactical position in the Novopavlivka, Zaporozhye and Kherson directions. Russian occupiers are holding the defense. That means these guys probably are in a an offensive uh, operation. In the Volin, Polisia, Siversky and Slobozansky directions, the situation remained rather unchanged. There are no signs of enemy offensive grouping being formed. In the Siversky and Slobozansky directions, the following settlements came under enemy fire. The Chernihiv regions, Senkivka and Karpoivchi, the Sunni region, Bakhchivsk and Kharkiv regions, Streicha, Zelene, Zatice, Vovochansk, I can't believe, man. I mean, personal uh, complaint. I can have no problem reading Japanese, no problem reading uh, uh, Belarusian, uh, no, Rus no problem reading Russian names or Russian towns or Polish towns or Serbian towns. Ukrainians, I'm breaking my tongue. I don't understand that whatsoever. It's so... Uh, different, the names of the towns is so I don't know, it's every time I read these little towns it's a, I'm sweating my ass here, really, I know I don't have to read them, but at least you know I give you some uh, names, so if you really want to verify if the front is moving towards west or east you put it on your little notebook 
the next day or the next week, you look back and look on the map and you see, okay, these towns mentioned a week ago. Where are they? In the west now or the east of the front where it is right now? According, based on the uh, settlements I will or whomever is gonna um, or you're gonna read about them. And then you know the reality if the front moves westward or eastward. That's why I'm reading this, because if I say in the direction of, uh, I don't know, Kopiansk, okay, it could be, what, 1,000 miles, I don't know. But I'm just saying it's so, uh, I, I don't have a problem, I don't have any problems with any other, other uh, Slavic languages, it seems like. But these ones are, I don't know, anyway, just a personal uh, handicap. I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> it's hard. In the Kupiansk direction, Russian troops shelled the Kharkiv region, Sinkivka, Orlyanka, Kislivka, Berestove, Ivanivka, and Bohuslavka. I did well. And the Luh Luhansk regions, Stelmakhivka. In the Liman direction, the enemy used tanks and artillery to open fire on the Luhansk regions, Hrekivka, Makivka, Cervonopopivka, and Didrova. Dib, Dibrova. So they use tanks. Usually when you use tanks, you're in an offensive. But anyway, in the Bakhmut direction, the Donetsk regions, Spirne, Bilohorivka, Soledar, Krasnahora, Pithorodne, Bakhmut, Klishchivka, Kurdiumivka, Druzhba and Pivnichie came under enemy fire. In the Avdivka direction, Russian invaders struck the Donetsk regions. Oh my god, okay, four settlements. In the Novopavlivka direction, Russian troops shelled the Donetsk regions of uh, Vuhledar, Preschivska, and Zolota Niva. A lot of towns here are not towns that I uh, covered yesterday or the day before or three days ago. Some are new, new for me. Uh, why? Because I... Okay, in the Zaporozhia direction, Russian occupiers opened fire on the Donetsk regions Vremivka and Vilnia Pole, and the Zaporozhia regions Huliai Pole, Shervone, Sharvine, Mala, Tokmachka, and two more. In the Kherson direction, Russian troops continue shelling settlements along the right bank of the Dnieper. The enemy launched mortar strikes on the city of Kherson and its suburbs. Meanwhile, within the Kherson region's temporary occupied areas, Russian invaders continued to rob local residents in one of the uh, Kakovka direction se uh, that district settlements. The occupation authorities announced the so-called inventorying of the movable and immovable areas of business, private businesses with their first further nationalization. In other, well, they just uh, bash them, saying that they are just doing what they do best, which are evil Russians, stealing, killing, raping, and uh, taking children into slavery and all that. Uh, we already are used with that, and uh, we're supposed to 100% believe them. Um, I believe them when uh, uh, they will uh, agree that things like this happen on the other side as well, but hey, no. Yeah, I don't think that happens. But since you don't have uh, really any successful offensives, what do you expect? You do that with your own people by arresting all kind of collaborators, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is a short uh, summary of the front, from the front, according to the Ukrainians. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.